It did. I'm telling you. On the way to the bookshop, I hit that girl with my car. I was scared stiff. She suddenly ran out in front of me. There was no way I could stop. Luckily for both of us, she wasn't that badly hurt. They did a bunch of tests on her at the hospital and said she had no major injuries. She was just in shock. So they decided to keep her under observation for 24 hours. A nurse took her to her room and gave her some strong medicine that put her to sleep. By the way, I, I don't know if I mentioned it, the girl's name was Gina, and she was amazingly beautiful. The truth is, I had no reason to stick around, so I went to say goodbye to her and go on my way. Please, don't leave. They want to kill me. There, there. Calm down. It's all over now. I hit you with my car, but you're fine. You're in a hospital recovering from... No, I'm telling you, they want me dead. I've got to get out of here. Who are they? Please, calm down and tell me why you think they want to murder you. Something awful happened tonight, and I witnessed the whole thing. Look, I'm a singer. I work at the Pink Iguana, a trendy place with live shows. This evening, when I finished my act, my dad was waiting for me. He works for a secret government agency. He told me he needed to tell me something. He said it was an emergency. Come a little closer. Gina, kiddo, I'm in danger. I've gotten into a really big mess, and I'm afraid you're not safe either. What's the matter, Daddy? Oh, you're frightening me. There's no time to explain. They're right behind me. I need you to keep this crucifix, and no matter what happens, don't let them find out you have it. You can't trust anybody, not even the police. But Daddy, please, tell me what's going on. They're here. Quick, grab the crucifix, and don't let them see you with me. It was awful. Some guys pulled my dad away and took him into the storeroom. I scrambled away just in time and got the crucifix without them seeing me. I followed them to the storeroom. They tied my dad to a chair and violently started interrogating him. These two henchmen wouldn't stop hitting him, and my heart froze when I saw who was giving the orders. The Sandretti brothers. The famous mafia bosses? How'd your dad get mixed up with those guys? I don't know, but they... Get him to tell you what he knows. Beat the truth out of him, if you must. Speak. Where is it? I won't say a word. Damn you! You're gonna speak now. Speak or die. You choose. Go to hell! It seems our friend doesn't want to cooperate. What a shame. So, we got a tough boy on our hands. You're not easily convinced, huh? Boys, maybe you're being too soft on our little hero. Did you hear that? The boss says we're being softies. Aya! What are you doing? Didn't you hear his neck crack? You killed him, man. Up there. You already know the rest of the story. I ran out through an alleyway, and when I crossed the street... Please, don't leave me. They'll kill me. Don't worry. Just rest for now. Go to sleep. I won't leave you. She fell asleep. Those tranquilizers must have taken effect. What a story. I don't know what to think. The poor thing is probably in shock from the accident. I bet she dreamt all this. But what if it's true? What if her life really is in danger? I can't just leave her here and forget all about it. I'd never forgive myself if something happened to her. Okay, that's it. I'm not leaving this hospital until I'm sure Gina's completely out of danger. But how are you supposed to act in a situation like this? Yeah, I, I think I'd better do something to protect Gina in case those mafia murderers she says want to kill her show up. Let's see. It's a map of this floor of the hospital. Here's the room I'm in. Here's the hall, and if I'm not mistaken, across the hall and just to the left of this room, there's a storeroom. That could be interesting. Out of order. 
Well, I'm afraid the shower is out of order. There aren't even any faucets. It's a bottle of alcohol. This could be useful. It's one of those waste baskets that opens up when you step on the lever. Someone threw away a marking pen. It might still work. It's empty. It's cracked. Gina must have broken it when she took that sleeping pill. Those are the same kind of sleeping pills Gina took. Snoozatol, one of the finest brands on the market. Standard hospital linens. I may be needing this. It belongs to Gina. She was carrying it when I ran her over. I'll keep it until Gina wakes up. The city is so peaceful at this time of night. Okay, I'll try to reach the storeroom by walking along the ledge. Hope I live to tell the grandkids! Yikes! I better not look down. I almost didn't make it. So, the map was right. This is the storeroom. Let's see what I can find in this dump. Looky here! A Vademicum! I may be needing this. A brake cleaner. This might come in handy. It's a medical information card that's put into the charts by the beds. It's blank. A box of syringes. I'll grab one. It's empty. They're the pillows used in the patient's beds. I'll take them both. Well, they're big and very fluffy. He's seen better days. Hmm, okay. But I think I'll just take his head with me. His head's got a hole on one side so you can examine his brain. Great. This marker's as dry as a bone. It won't work. Now the syringe is full of alcohol. Heh! <laughs> Betcha that put some new life into the marker. Good. You can't tell the difference between this and a real chart. Patient, Tony Crabb. Dr. William M. Corgan, diagnosis appendicitis. Let's see. Hmm, a matchbox I might be able to use. Let's see. Yes, this wig is just what I was looking for. Perfect. That way no one can see the hole in his head. Okay, if I use the pillows to look like the body, the head with the wig and a sheet to cover it all up a bit, I can make it look like a woman is sleeping here. That should do the trick.
Good, that way nobody will know it's Gina lying in this bed. Patient Gina Timmons, Dr. Enrique R. Atienzar. Remarks, traffic accident, state of shock after nervous breakdown, no physical injuries. Perfect. That way they'll think it's Gina who's in the bed. This isn't her. She must be the one in the other bed. Say goodbye to the world, you little tramp. Hey! Gina! Hey! 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 Phew! She's just asleep. But those tranquilizers must have been made for elephants. Well, the important thing is, the trick worked and they shot the dummy in the other bed. So everything Gina told me was true. They actually do want to knock her off. It wasn't just her imagination. Okay, let's calm down, Brian. Right now, they think she's dead, which will buy us a bit of time. But we can't waste a minute. I gotta wake Gina up and get her out of this place before they find out she's alive and well. I'll try to figure out what it says about Snoozatol, the sleep medication that Gina took. It says the effects are powerful and almost immediate. The patient sleeps for hours and can only be awakened by a nice cold shower. Hmm, I don't think I'm strong enough to lug Gina into the shower, so I'll have to come up with another way of pouring cold water on her. Presto! Shines any metal from flatware to kettle. Good idea. I could use it as a flamethrower and make the sprinkler go off. The water would finally wake Gina up. Let's get to work. But careful, Brian, don't broil your hand off. Ouch! Please. Ow! Ah. Now you wake up. Hurry, we've got to exit. Stage left at once. But what's going on? This water, <laughs> the smoke. I'll tell you later. Let me grab your stuff. You can change in the car. Come on, let's get to the parking lot. Dummy instead of shooting me? Hey, I like your style. First, you try to run me down with your car, and then you save my life. Do you do this kind of thing very often? No, I was just... It's a good thing that you grabbed my purse, because otherwise we wouldn't have the crucifix my father gave me. Now, what we have to do is... Headed for the nearest police station. This is a very serious matter, and it has to be placed in the hands of the police. No way. Let's keep the cops out of this, okay? If the government gets caught up in this, we don't know if we can trust them. Gina, the people that killed your father are after you now. If we go to the police, they'll make sure that... Read my lips. No, this is too big for the police, and we can't trust them. We have to find out what this crucifix means. Look, this all seems crazy to me. It's your problem if you decide not to turn to the police, but I'm washing my hands of the whole affair. I'm on my way to California. They're expecting me at Berkeley and... I can't believe this guy. You practically turned me into roadkill, and now you want to feed me to the wolves? And here I was actually starting to believe you. But... Forget it. It's not worth it. Oh, why would you care if my father was killed? Why does it matter to you if I'm murdered or if my whole family's destroyed? Okay already. L let me tell you what we're going to do. I have a friend who's an anthropologist. He works at the Museum of Archaeology and Natural History in Chicago. Since it's practically on my itinerary anyway, 
I'll drive you there and we can try to figure out more about that crucifix, okay? I knew I could count on you. You're a doll. Start this baby up. We can't waste any time. Hey, do you know where my blonde wig is? I was carrying it in my purse and now I can't seem to find it. Have you confirmed that? Yes, Don Roberto. Gustav is at the hospital right now. He's checked up on it. I can't see how that girl escaped. Looks like the guy who ran over her is along for the ride. They left the hospital together. Useless idiots. Have you identified this man's car? Yes, Don Roberto. We know the model, color, and license plate number. At least you've done something, Theodore. Meet with Gustav and be prepared. As soon as we locate the vehicle, you're gonna go after them. Whatever you say, Don Roberto. I assure you, we won't let them ditch us again. I hope not. Don't worry, Roberto. Those two couldn't have gotten very far. Carlo, you know I'm thinking something here. I'm almost glad that girl's still alive. What do you mean? That girl witnessed what happened, and if she talks, we're in big trouble. I know that. But it's obvious she hasn't gone to the police. I wonder why. Mm, I don't know. Maybe she's there right now. I'll bet you one dollar she won't stew on us. You know why? Because she knows something. I think our men spoke with her before that animal Gustav broke his neck. Besides, why else would she have been in the storeroom? Yeah, you may be right, brother. In which case, we gotta make her spill the beans. See what she knows. You're right, Carlo. We'll do that. Now we gotta get out the warning to all our boys out there. Make sure everyone's on the lookout for that car. <laughs>